Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com. Welcome to another Mac Monday. Okay, and today's uh, Mac Monday review is um, a product that I kind of wish I had a long time ago because uh, this is a product that helps you keep a vault of all your passwords and usernames. So let's get right into it. Okay, we're going to show you some uh, screenshots here. Okay, first we're going to go to their website. Now this is a product from a company called CallPod. Okay, and they make a, um, a, a software program called the Keeper. Now, the Keeper is a, a password and data vault for uh, all your passwords, obviously, for Mac and PC. Okay, but something that is really unique about this is not only do you, are you able to use it on your desktop, but all this information syncs with an application that is available for your iPod Touch or your iPhone. So I'm really excited about it. I've been using it for about a week, and uh, I want to share it with you guys. So as you guys can see, um, it's military-grade encryption, one-click sync to your iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, there's a 15-day free trial okay, that does not have sync capability. So the free trial does not have sync. But... As you can see over here, guys, the desktop keeper is only $14.95. Okay, guys, so the application that goes along with this is free. And here is the page here on the uh, in the iTunes store, in the App Store. But we're going to get into this in a little bit. Let's get back to um, the desktop version. So uh, you download the version, obviously. And uh, here's some more information. But let's just get right into it. Okay, so guys, what you do is... is <clears throat> You open up CallPod Keeper here, okay, and this will open up the program, okay, after you've installed it already. Very simple installation, just like any other software that you're using for your, your Mac, okay. Now, again, guys, this does work on the um, PC side also, okay. So once it comes up, you enter your master password. So I will enter in my master password, and what will come up? is a list of all your usernames and passwords okay that you've put in there already so for instance this is test for video okay obviously i want you guys to see all my usernames and passwords okay so title test for video number one is going to be your username or your email address most usernames are email addresses nowadays but if it's not you can put whatever you want in there and then secret number two is your password Okay, so you're able to put that in there. So let me show you how that how that works. So for example, let's put in Yahoo Mail account. Okay, and as you can see, it said IE username or email. So we're going to use Billy Bob at yahoo.com, and I'm sure there is a Billy Bob. And the secret number two is your password. So we're going to put that in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to hit save. Okay, so there we go. We've got test for video and we've got Yahoo mail account. Hey okay, guys. Now there's a couple of different things that you can do here. Over here on file, you can um, new record, edit record, delete record, save record. On edit, you can cut, copy, and paste. View. Okay, is your data vault, you can see your mobile sync, tools and settings, import and export, and themes. So for example, if you want to switch it to a blue theme, there you go, there's a blue theme. If you want a camo theme, there's a camouflage theme. Okay, if you want a white theme, which I think is a little dull, but I kind of like the green theme. So we're going to keep it at the green theme. Okay, so now you can go over to mobile sync. Okay, and guys, this Wi-Fi... Uh, number changes all the time. So what you do here is you connect your mobile device to the same network as this computer. Okay. Okay. So guys, here's your mobile sync. Okay, This is how you're going to sync it to your iPod Touch or your iPhone. Wi-Fi sync with your iPhone, iPod Touch, or other smartphone. Connect your mobile device to the same network as this computer. Get Keeper Mobile for your device, which I'll show you in a second. On your device, activate the desktop sync from the options tab. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Supply the address provided on the screen here. So, your um, 
router or whatever you're using for your internet connection usually doesn't have the same IP address. Okay, the last four digits will always change. Usually the 192.168.177, typically the same for me. Yours will probably be the same also. It's the last four digits that usually um, changes. So anyway, just to kind of give you an idea of the desktop version, and we'll go into the um, into the uh, mobile version and show you how that works also. Okay, and then here's all your settings. Okay, you can do different placeholders, whatever it may be. Okay, you can change this to password, um, secret number one, title or URL, and import and export. Okay, you can in import or export the, the, your records into tab delimited delimited text files. So it's pretty simple. There's four tabs up here. There's your data vault, there's your mobile sync, there's your settings, and there's your import export. So we're going to go to data vault and we're going to do, um, we're going to leave these just the way they are. Okay. Now I'm going to pause this guys and we're going to move over to the uh, close up camera on the iPhone and we're going to show you how that works. Before that though, what I want, want to show you guys here is, is this is the um, mobile application for Keeper Password and Data Vault. As you guys already know, simply click Get App, sync your iPhone, and it'll be on your iPhone. And we are going to move over to the close-up camera of the iPhone so we can show you how that works. Okay, guys, so here we are at the close-up camera, and we're going to show you the Keeper um, application that works in conjunction with the um, desktop version of the software. Okay, So what you do is you open up the software. Okay. And of course you have to put in your password. So I will put in my password. Okay, so I put in my password and all of my passwords come up. As you can see, we do not have the test password in there and we do not have the uh, bogus Yahoo Mail password in there. So what we wanna do is we wanna sync it. So what we have to do first before we go back over to the desktop here is we have to go to options and we have to put in uh, Active Sync Now. So what we want to do is we want to go Active Sync Now. Okay, we have to turn it on. So sync the backup, sync and backup your data over Wi-Fi directly to Mac or PC using Keeper Desktop. Um, obviously, that's where you download it. So to sync, flip the switch below to on, and this IP address comes up. So what you're going to want to do is, is you want to put this IP address over into your desktop version. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the desktop version, we're gonna put that IP address in there, and uh, then we're gonna sync it. Okay guys, so now we're back at our uh, desktop version of our software, and we are on the mobile sync tab. So what you need to do is you need to be able to take that IP address okay, and put it into mobile sync. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete all these because the IP address is gonna always be different Okay, so we're going to put in that number. Okay, and we're going to hit sync now. And as you can see, it's syncing over to our iPhone. Minimize that. And now we're going to go back to the iPhone, guys, and we're going to show you that all those uh, items were synced, especially the test one and the uh, Yahoo Mail, the bogus Yahoo Mail one that we put in there. Go back to all records. As you can see, here's our test for video, okay, the uh, ABC, DEF at Gmail, okay, and then here's our bogus Yahoo Mail account, Yahoo Mail, Billy Bob at well, Yahoo, not Yahoo, I misspelled it, and our secret password. And then what you can do is you go back, you have all your recents, okay, all the ones that were recently put in from the most recent down, okay, your options, you can enable self-destruct, which if it's uh, a password is put in incorrectly a certain number of times, it'll just wipe everything clean on that. Data encryption, notifications, you can reset your master password, there's your activate now, all your export options, all your import options, and all the files and headers that you can customize. This is the icon, guys. Now, this app is free in the App Store. It's called Keeper, 
okay? And uh, it does uh, work in conjunction, as you've seen, very nicely with uh, Keeper on the desktop. Okay, guys? So, for $14.95 for the Keeper software that, that syncs, um, and for a free app, a very, very nice bargain. Um, I think it's a great program. I think it's a great app. So uh, I would totally suggest if you have a lot of usernames and passwords like I do, that this is uh, probably a piece of software that would be a good investment for you. Not only on the desktop version, the 1495, but the mobile version on your iPhone or iPod Touch um, with a free application. Uh, so go check it out. All right, guys, I hope that this was informative to you. I know that this video was a little longer than most of them, kind of going back and forth from the close-up camera to the desktop. But I hope that it really gave you a good representation of what a good product that this is. This is Keeper, uh, Password, and um, Username Vault, Okay, both on the desktop and on your iPhone or iPod Touch syncs via Wi-Fi so you don't have to hook anything up very very easy so uh, please comment give me suggestions um, I really like this uh, software application and uh, it's getting my editor's choice so guys um, this is Tom from buymeaniphone.com hope you had a great 4th of July holiday okay uh, stay safe the week ahead and we'll talk to you soon